good morning dear students learners and viewers today we are going to take one of the important topic in econometrics which is generally used in research work this topic is especially meant for the level of bsc economics final year students the topic is dummy variables we know dummy variable is also called by different other names that is binary variable dichotomous variable qualitative variable and indicator variable it is uh, called binary variable because we allot two values to it either we allot it 0 or 1 because 0 indicates uh, absence of the attribute and 1 indicates presence of the attribute that is why it is also called indicator variable because it indicates towards absence of presence of the attribute it is called dichotomous variable because it divides the variable into two categories that is uh, uh, implied or unimplied male female rural or urban and like this sometime it is called qualitative variable because on the basis of quality it divides variable into two parts that is uh, having quality or have not having any other quality now dummy variable it has different uses which we are going to explain here with the help of this model that is y is equal to alpha plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 d d here indicates dummy variable plus random term that is ui y is uh, dependent alpha is intercept and x1 is independent variable it has its own slope or coefficient beta 1 and dummy variable coefficient is uh, beta 2 Now let us start with uses of dummy variable. Dummy variable can be used in different contexts. First of all, we take the part one, that is, to pre to present the change in intercept value. We know in this model, alpha is our intercept. Now this dummy variable can be assigned value one or zero. Let us say. that uh, consumption that is y here is a function of income consumption is a function of uh, income and uh, this variable dummy it shows uh, whether the citizen for whose consumption we are going to determine is american or india suppose for american we allot uh, one and for indian we allot value zero now if we plot it on diagram we get it in this way x variable y variable now this is our consumption function suppose and uh, alpha here is uh, intercept this model when presented on diagram we get this consumption function now if variable d that is dummy variable is allotted value 1 that is in case of consumption of an american this model will become equal to this that is y is equal to alpha plus beta 2 because d is 1 so 1 into beta 2 is beta 2 beta 2 is constant so it will be added here so this becomes our new intercept rest remains as given beta 1 x1 plus u i now this is our new model if we plot it here then uh, we get this new function here d is equal to 1 and here in this case d is equal to 0 so this is case of indian consumers consumption function this is case of american consumers consumption function so with the change in the value of d the intercept value has changed now intercept has become alpha plus uh, beta so first important application of or use of dummy variable is to present change in intercept value let us take another use of dummy variable that is to present a change in slope of the function we can explain it with the help of an example let us say that uh, time is dummy variable in our case time can be piece time and uh, we assign value 1 or dummy variable in case of piece time and time can be disturbance time bar time we allot it value 
for example now these days uh, throughout in all countries we are facing the problem of uh, corona virus covid 19 so it is war like situation in this world so this is not a normal time but we can say this is not a, a normal but abnormal time so we allot value zero if uh, dummy variable is allotted zero then its uh, slope will be different if we allot it value one that is peace time then its slope will be different now let us plot it in terms of a uh, diagram suppose this is x variable this is y variable y is dependent on x we say consumption is dependent on uh, income but consumption is not dependent on income only but time period whether it is normal time period peace time period or it is war time period it also affects our consumption now suppose this is the normal time period consumption function now it is a normal so consumption will be more but in case of war time period consumption will be less so this is when d is allotted value 0 This is D when it is allotted value one. So in terms of peace time, now its slope will be changed. Now we can say that y is equal to alpha plus beta one x t plus beta two into one into x t that is x t plus u i. Now we can take beta one beta two as one here that is. alpha plus xt is common so beta 1 plus beta 2 into xt plus u i now it is very clear from this function that is slope of xt is a beta 1 beta 2 its summation but in other period it is only beta 1 so if you take the period of peace then slope has changed to beta 1 plus beta 2 otherwise the slope was only beta 1 and beta 2 xt in this case so it is very clear from this figure that if time period is peace period then slope is high so in time of peace or normal time consumption function slope rises but in case of war time period consumption function slope comes down it becomes flatten but in case of peace it it comes steep so we can say that dummy variable is used to present any change in slope of a consumption function let us take some other uses of dummy variable for example in this diagram we have shown that dummy variable can be used to change both intercept as well as slope if we take the model with two dummy variable d1 and d2 d1 shows whether american or indian and d2 shows whether peace time or war time then it can be shown with the help of this diagram that if we assign value 1 to d1 and d2 both that is american and normal period then this will be the consumption function or we assign value 0 to d1 and d2 that is indian and abnormal function time period then this will be the consumption function another use of dummy variable is to show the seasonal changes because due to change in season we say that there are three quarters in a year q1 first three months then another three months q2 and q3 so we have introduced three dummy variable d1 for first quarter d2 for second quarter and d3 for third quarter if we assign value 1 to d1 and 0 to all other dummy variable then this will be the slope of consumption function similarly if we assign value 1 to d2 another intercept will be alpha plus b2 if we assign value 1 to d3 this will be the another intercept so seasonal changes can also be interpreted with the help of a dummy variable last but not the least sometime dummy variable can be dependent variable in some cases for example house owner it depends upon income level so income is independent it will determine whether a person having his own house or he is living on rent so sir there are so many other uh, uses of dummy variable which we can 
have in terms of qualitative interpretation and quantitative interpretation so this was main about the uses of dummy variable in research the detail note of these dummy variable and its uses dummy trap i will post on whatsapp group of our students thank you